one British girl lets her imagination and ambition soar into the skies. And when a girl like Elizabeth sets her heart on something, all the notices and fences in the world won't keep her out. Leading through Sydney Heads, the sleek white liner Gothic brings Her Majesty the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh to the threshold of Australia. In their thousands, Brazilians lined the way to get a last look at the Queen and Prince Philip. Canada's capital prepares for a great royal day. The state opening of Parliament by Queen Elizabeth II. It's one of the great sights of Ethiopia, where the Blue Nile pours out of Lake Tana over the Tassissa Falls, and both the Queen and the Emperor seem to take it in their stride. Il y a bien longtemps que je désire venir en France. Elle aura réellement contribué à affermir cette union franco-britannique à laquelle je tiens tant. Thousands of ships call here every year, but surely none has ever been acclaimed with such enthusiasm as the royal yacht with the Queen, her sailor husband and her children on the bridge. A ceremony, a tradition, and perhaps somebody will tell the young prince that his great-great-grandfather, Edward VII, was the first reigning monarch to be offered the Gibraltar Keys on land. <laughs> To arrive in India for the first time, an unforgettable experience to anyone in any age. How much more so for the Queen is the custom of all foreign visitors to the tomb of the Prophet of independent India to remove their shoes. Thousands of Jamaicans give a warm welcome to Her Majesty the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. Exciting days for the citizens of Kingston. A sea leave-taking. A leave-taking of great emotion as the Royal Lodge moves off towards the Gothic. It was in Kenya that the news of the king's death reached his daughter. When she returned from a night in the forest, it was to learn that she is now the queen. It was her own decision to return at once to London. It was a bitter January day when the princess left for Kenya. It was a farewell. It was also, as events turned out, goodbye. Here to the cemetery at Tobruk came the queen alone with her husband. Here they paused, and in a solemn moment paid tribute to those who lie in African soil. Her Majesty, accompanied by the Duke of Edinburgh, was making her first state visit to the island since Malta attained independence a little over three years ago. Before she left the youth rally, the Queen told the children to work together when they grew up and to keep Malta a lovely and happy place. In Wellington, Her Majesty opened Parliament, the first time a reigning monarch had presided at a New Zealand parliamentary session. Among our offerings was a true Maori feathered cloak, a mark of nobility. A welcome now from all of us as the Gothic arrives at the Caribbean entrance to the canal. A welcome, we say, to the Gothic, bearing the British sovereign everyone in Panama has been talking about, eagerly expecting. The Gothic at last, sailing in proud and elegant. Eagerly awaited by the American garrison and by the people of Panama. The king, 23-year-old Cyprian, heir to the Zulu ruler, expressed his gratitude for the royal visit. Later, 5,000 men and women in plumed headdresses and oxkin kilts, armed with shield and assegai, performed their national war dance. Hectic, gay, overwhelming. But that's how New York feels about Queen Elizabeth's visit and what New York feels, it has no inhibitions about showing. One newspaper headline sums it all up. The Queen reigns over us today. The officer commanding the parade invited the Queen to inspect the 1,500 British troops of the Berlin garrison. The most dramatic minutes of the whole tour were spent in visiting the wall. Nearly 100,000 people gave her an ecstatic welcome. 
But from his capital on the Danube River, Belgrade, bringing vast changes to Yugoslavia. The Queen has traveled round the world. Like Sir Francis Drake, she went the way of the sun. Soon now, the royal standard will fly again from the palace rooftop. And we at home will say, welcome the Queen. <laughs>